Hey friends, welcome back to Vidya's Vegetarian Kitchen. Hope you all are enjoying your holidays. Uh, I know New Year is uh, just right around the corner and it's time for us to say goodbye to 2018 and welcome 2019. Uh, you know, I was contemplating if I should uh, share a sweet recipe to welcome 2019 or if I should just continue with my uh, Rasam series. And guess what? I decided to continue with my Rasam recipes itself. This weather demands for something warm and comforting and I couldn't think anything else other than Rasam. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue um, sharing uh, Rasam recipes. Today I'm going to share our family's favorite. It's the cumin pepper Rasam or as we say in Tamil, it's the Jeera Melahi Rasam. So let's get started with the recipe. So here I have uh, two tablespoons of cumin seeds, uh, approximately 20 curry leaves, one tablespoon of whole pepper and one tablespoon of tur dal and also a small uh, gooseberry sized tamarind. So I have soaked it in uh, one cup of water for about 50 minute, 15 minutes. Sorry. Now I am going to grind this uh, coarsely. You can also roast all these ingredients and grind it into a fine powder but I find this uh, more convenient so I just go with this method and also I haven't used any garlic in this today I'm gonna make this as a no garlic rasam I'll share garlic rasam some other day and also I have taken um, one tomato of this size and chopped it roughly and we need some cilantro of course and for this recipe we need about uh, four cups of water so now I'm gonna grind this and I'll show you so here it is, the ground cumin, pepper, tur dal, tamarind and curry leaves paste. Also I rinsed the mixer jar with one cup of water and I have uh, saved that water as well. So now let's get started with the cooking process. So the pot is hot and I'm going to add half tablespoon of oil, approximately one and a half teaspoons. I'm going to keep the rasam vegan today so I'm going with oil. You can also temper it with ghee. Now half teaspoon of mustard seeds, the regular tempering process, half teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm not going to add any curry leaves because I have already added it in the cumin pepper paste and a little bit of hing as always. I need to change the hing dabba. The mustard seeds are spluttering so I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. 1 by 8 teaspoon of uh, turmeric. Let's mix them all. This is 3 teaspoons of kosher salt. Like I mentioned last week, uh, adjust the salt according to the variety and also uh, according to your taste preference. So now I'm going to add the ground paste. And the one cup of water. So now bring this uh, rasam mixture to a rolling boil and then we are going to add a little bit of jaggery and three more cups of water and simmer it again. So the rasam is boiling now. Uh, it took me about 5 minutes and now I am going to add approximately uh, 3 by 4 teaspoon of jaggery and that's optional and now 3 cups of water. Mix it thoroughly. At this stage you can uh, check for salt. And if needed, you can adjust. And about uh, two tablespoon of uh, chopped cilantro. I'm just gonna add that as well. And give it a quick mix. And now bring this uh, mixture 
to a simmer uh, until it becomes frothy on top like uh, how we did for the ginger rasam so the rasam is all frothy on top i have turned off the heat at this stage if you want to add more cilantro you can add but i'm not going to add any further that's it friends the rasam is now ready to serve thank you for watching this video wishing you all a very happy and a prosperous new year uh, usually i say if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe today i'm going to add couple more things Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Uh, once again, thank you all for your support and I'll see you next year with a new set of recipes. Thank you.